But first, we're coming up on a really unique anniversary, and so we're going to spend tonight and tomorrow night looking into a really special story. That is, that's, that's right, Jesse. Before <laughs> are, are, you, are you okay, Jeremy? Are you okay? I oh, know. I've been Still affected by something above me. And what is it? It's a UFO. Before the great <laughs> three cow survival story on 2016, when they were on that island, there was another story that put Taikaura on the world map. This year is the 40th anniversary of their infamous UFO sighting. But that's far from the only visit space visitors have made to our country. UFOs are the stuff of fantasy and sci-fi, and aliens, it seems, are rather needy. They need our bodies. Oh, no. They need our precious liquids. <coughs> and our telecom. E.T. Phone home. Easy to dismiss. A bit of a laugh, yeah? Not something New Zealanders would buy into, right? What are the chances that there's nowhere else in the universe that there's, you know, life? life? I don't believe, like, the wheel, like, you know, like the long people. <laughs> <laughs> Green people. Yeah, yeah. Despite our scepticism, we've had extraordinary reports of sightings throughout our history. 100 years ago, there were reports of a fast-moving object spotted in Christchurch that looked like a planet, while a woman sunbathing in Tahuna said two strange lights disappeared as they flew over Tasman Bay. In 1959, Blenheim farmer Eileen Morland says she was getting the cows in when two entities in shiny suits appeared from an oval-shaped U.S. Bow. After her hands swelled and brown blotches appeared on her face, she claims the fruit trees nearby all died. More recently, Suzanne from Hawke's Bay claimed she and a mate were beamed up from a barbecue in Napier by webfinger aliens with puppy faces. Interesting. And it's now the 40th anniversary of our most credible UFO sighting, the Kaikoda Lights, which made headlines around the world. We've got an object about a mile behind us and it's following us. Let's hope they're friendly. It was the lead up to Christmas and two Air Force officers reported three strange lights that were flying as if under intelligent control. And here's our charming actor Peter with the key witness accounts. I know a plane when I see it. I know a media. I know a planet. And I know a star when I see it. And what we saw that night was none of those things. In the wee hours the next morning, two more sightings were reported and confirmed by radar. They went across from left to right, very, very fast, far quicker than an aircraft. We figured it was doing at least 15,000 kilometres an hour. And this was just the beginning. Tomorrow on The Project, we'll hear from someone who saw those mysterious lights above Kaikoura, but hasn't told their story for 40 years. to the second story tomorrow night and hearing more from that witness of the Kaikoura lights because I'm, it's one of those things, UFOs. I, I want to I wanna look, I want to hear more, but I get really freaked out because what if the Kaikoura lights get me? Yeah. Um, What's the worst that could happen? I don't know. A couple of experiments, put you back together. There you go. Yeah, or like they could decimate our planet as we know it. I don't know. I know it's not completely logical to believe in UFOs and aliens, yeah. but I just, I can't not... Believe. I think there's intelligent life, but I think UFOs that visit our planet are like the boy races. Right. Like the right. UFO community, they're sort of not where they're supposed to be. So <laughs> they're not so smart. <laughs> they're not so smart. They're not the smartest. The Kaikoura one's amazing because there's so many people, so many credible people with the same story. And also tonight we want to ask you if you have your own story of UFOs, Ooh. if you've seen something or you think you've seen something in the sky... This week is your week to get in touch with us. If you head to our Facebook page, send us a message, let us know, and we'd be delighted to uh, learn more. Yeah, I'll read them all and I'll get a little bit freaked out, but I'll love it. <laughs> totally. That's what it's all about.